Good morning, good evening, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers and grandparents. My name is Herman Opelele. I am the second child of Willie Opelele, the visionary of Wemonyama TV Mond and Pastor Opelele Foundation. I am also one of the grandchildren of Papa Opelele and Mary Amenganji. We would like to give a big thank you to the family of Papa Kasongo for his recognition of the Pastor Opelele Foundation. Thank you so much for such a generous donation to the Operation Zeo Lowenga. Also a big thank you to Papa Michael and Mama Deria. May God bless you and your family as you continue to bless others. Thank you. TV Monde I just come to give a big thank you to Mama Deria Kasango and the husband for the contribution. I mean the support they are bringing Wimbunyama TV Monde. Thank you so much, Sister Deria. Let God bless you and all your family. Love from Sylvie Kalunga. Hello. Uh, my name is Maroni and I am back here again today but uh, it would be ungrateful it would be really unfair and unkind not to start with uh, the kindest words that I probably have had in my life and these were a saint from Alexandra Alexandra, I do not know what to say, but you spoke uh, with a lot of wisdom, a lot of compassion, and a lot of sympathy and kindness uh, to Wimbanyama TV and the accolades that you pour on me just beyond belief. And yeah. So thank you very much Alexandra just to say that your words came straight in the stroke straight in the heart they came straight to each of us as hearts and thank you thank you so much so today what we're talking about is uh to just send this very big thing again to mama and papa carp uh for their kindness uh and their sympathy with Operation Zero Lowinga, which means Operation No More Revenue. What happens is that we are working really hard, as we have already said. Uh, everybody is doing their best. We are running up and down at the moment to see how we're going to finalize what we can do to make sure that the revenues that have been destroying Wembonyama, we at least put a full stop on that. We have an awful lot of projects and actually what we are thinking is that um, through Zero Wing and Wimbunyama TV we are doing um, what we can just to start with Zero Wing. But we are looking further to the level of poverty that is striking Wimbunyama. All the infrastructures have been destroyed. What our fathers have already built has gone into the drain and we would like to see when Munyama shine as it shone when we have uh, when we had our fathers and our grandfathers uh, in that land um, it is not impossible it is uh, just a willingness and what a papa and a mama carp have shown today uh, and everyone else that has been contributing from the United States, uh, from here in Europe, from Africa, from Israel um, and wherever the, the, the resources come from they are going to go straight away in uh, doing a greater job to start by finishing with uh, revenues and going into diminishing the level of poverty that is crippling women at the moment uh, we would like women to be as it used to be we use we would like to see planes landing in Wimbo we used to have airplanes but uh, thank you thank you I've been asked by 
Wembo Nyama TV Mont just to say how grateful we are to say just to to convey this uh, thankfulness uh, from the whole team to Papa and Mama Carp uh, in the United States and to all the children uh, uh, in the family. Yes, I would like to say just a, a little bit of a story uh, I'll get back to Alexandra because his words were so kind. I would like to, rem to, to, to remember something that I have done when I was a kid. I was really silly. I remember I was about five or six. I was not tall enough. I was a short and we used to have lights uh, that used to be electricity uh, from um, 7 o'clock in the evening to 10 p.m. And I could not reach the switch and I was so gathered because all the adults, all my brothers were just a go switch on and off when we need a light. So I came up with a little plan to have a stool and I have a stick and say, okay, with a tool, stool and, uh, and a stick, I'm sure I'll, I'll raise there. And I waited until everyone was vanished from the interrupter. So I climbed onto the stool and switched off the light. Whole house, our house. So I vanished myself. I ran away. I hear the people trying to look for me just they were calling. I was terrified that if I'm caught then I'm going ready to be killed because I've done something terrible. So I went to the church and I hid in the church. And when they started coming, I moved from the bigger area of the church and going to a corner that I could not be found. And I went on under the uh, the 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 long desk uh, in the church. Uh, they looked for me in the church and they went out, including your granddad. And then they went out, and then that was not the end. I stayed in until I fell asleep. They went on and on and on. They came back and finally found me in a corner of very big church hidden. And uh, I was so terrified that that was the end of it. I've been fun. But it is just to show the level of compassion that parents have to their kids. They were worried about my safety and I was worried about my action as stupid as they were. Uh, and and as soon as I was a fan uh, of everybody including Papa Kasung uh, and they all just came and, and checked that I'm okay. Uh, and I was still crying and worried and they were they insisted that there nothing will be done it was just a switch on and off but uh, seeing my, my actions from my side of the thing I was so terrified so it's just to show how compassionate how loving these parents are how loving are uh, your parents the papa and the mama carp are they still have that same same traits the same way of dealing with things um what do we think that we have done something that was terrible and it, it it to me it epitomizes who we are to god when we think that we have done terrible things to god we can ask for forgiveness and his kindness his loving um um, his loving big heart will always come to prevail in the loving us and the forgiving us. So I would like to thank you again bigly for your very 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 kind words to to us at all. When my name TV man. So thank you very much. Uh, again, ever yours. Maroon Ihara. I used to be called Jim Rice because I used to play baseball. Um, Jim Rice is a baseball player. So thank you very much. Okay. See you again.